Hey guys, Baradus here, and welcome back to Thorncraft 4. So last episode, we made our, uh, what are they called, paving stones of travel? Yep, paving stone of travel. So today, we're going to work on their, their sister stone, the paving stone of warding. So this one's pretty interesting. It's, if it's like the, um, the old one that I remember, it's, it's okay, but it's not brilliant, but... Looking at the uh, description for it now, it looks like it's changed a bit from what it used to be. So, let's see, what do we need? We need fire and order shards. And we are almost out of fire shards. Okay, great. So I made up some blocks for preparation, because I didn't realise I only had three fire shards. So, uh, well, let's make them. So, let's see, so we've got 12 paving stone of Hoarding. Let's give it a quick scan. And I'm going to grab a. Let's just make a couple of levers. Get my wand back to. Just make a couple of levers. Some cobblestone. Because these actually react to redstone signals as well. Okay, so let's run outside here. So let's set this up. Oh, I don't know. What's the sunlight like? Daylight like. Sun's going down, so we should get some monsters soon. So let's get out, out in the open here somewhere. Uh, actually, let's go around here, yeah. So what these do is they create like a, an invisible wall that stops any mobs from walking through. So let's just say we're going to set this up like here. So we've got 12 of these stones, so... Mm. 12 of these stones, so let's set up... 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10... Well, that'll have to do, because we don't have many to work with. Ooh, look at that. Alright, so the colour in these stones, uh, in the centre, determines what, uh, they're, what they're doing. Actually, I'm going to extend this out one more. since we have the blocks for it. There we go. So... Ah yes, yeah, so we've hit this one with the redstone signal and the runes change. Turn it off and they... Hmm. Ooh, a warding aura. Can we scan it? No. Yeah, that's interesting. Warding aura. So can we place a block? Then we can. Uh, let's see. Could we? Maybe can we push a sheep into this? Come here, sheepy. Come on. Yeah. Ah, yeah. So you can't cross over these. So does that deactivate the whole thing, or is it just that block? Might be just that block, so we might be able to... Hey! Sheep! No, sheep! Damn it! <laughs> okay, I'm going to place two levers there. So that should deactivate both these blocks. Uh, let's see, we need to find some mobs. Preferably not a creeper, because they'll make a mess, but like a, a zombie would be great right now. Uh... Oh, where are they? Never around when you need them. Jeez. Ah, uh, spider... Ah, uh, spider will do. Spider isn't the best, because if these work the way I think they do, spiders will crawl over them. But... 
we're going to see. So let's turn these back on. So the spider should hit the wall. And he climbs right over it. <laughs> yeah, but as you can see, he can't reach us. So I think if he gets in the exact right spot, he might fall down in here, but we're pretty safe. Alright, let's get this zombie. Get this zombie to come over here. He'll give us a better demonstration. Come on. Come on, little fella. <laughs> Alright, so we're standing within our safe area. You can see the wards flashing. Holy cr... Oi! Hey! What the hell is this? Did you blow up? Ah! Yeah, okay. Okay, so that... <laughs> Just as I thought, these are... So what the warding stones do is they create like a, a two block high invisible barrier. And you see that they're displaying now, they're reacting because the zombies here. So if we turn this off, he can walk out. And if we run in, turn it on, he can't get in. He can't get through this invisible barrier. Yeah, so I don't think there's any way to boost the height of the barrier. Which is a shame because I wanted to use these at one point and I wanted to use them for a three wide doorway. So the door was a three by three. But the problem is, these are only too high, so spiders would walk up to the door, climb up the invisible wall, and get in. If he just give up and leave... Hey! Come back here. <laughs> yeah, hello. Where the hell is he going? Yeah, so let's have a look at this again. Um... Active, so we'll disable it. Purple runes show it is currently preventing something. Red runes show that something is preventing it from fully warding an area. So I guess if we just remove a rune... And I guess once the zombie comes up to it, the runes will glow red. I guess that kind of works. Get out of the hole! Crap, I don't have the block in my hand. Ah, uh, where is it? There it is. Quick, get in here. Nah, yeah, nah, no, you can't get me. <laughs> so yeah, so it's good for zombies. But spiders can climb over these walls and I think skeletons can still shoot through them. Maybe if I happen to get a skeleton. Let's turn these off. Oi. Hey, you. <laughs> Come get me. Come on. Come get me. Oh, I should have only used one of them. Come on. Come inside. Ow. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Cool. We've caught a pet zombie. In full gold armor. <laughs> Alright, so he's completely trapped now. He can't get out of this watered area. So, what I might do with this, actually, that could be kind of fun. Uh, how would you do it, though? Ah, see, it wouldn't work. So I was thinking of doing something like a, um, like the old door traps you could do. We'd set up four doors around the block with a pressure plate, and if anything walked in and triggered it, all the doors would slam shut. It'd be cool if you could do something like this with these. Can we take these out? These corner blocks? And you still can't get out? Ow! Yeah, cool. So it doesn't have to be a complete line. 
No, he's pretty well. I'm going to leave him in there. I think because he's got armor, he won't die. But just in case. Can you carry that? You mind? <laughs> what about the egg? Will you carry the... Oh, why is the egg bouncing out here? I don't know. I don't think he'll despawn because he's wearing armor. He won't burn up in the sun, so I'm going to leave him there. He can be our pet zombie. <laughs> Alright. So that's the... Uh... The warding stone, uh, stone, paving stone of warding. So I would look at using them for our wall, which could be cool, but it would get a bit difficult to do when you get to these these areas here. You'd have to actually prop the stones up a bit to make like a lower wall. Yeah, that could work actually. I might end up doing that. Who knows, it would be a pretty cool wall because then we can enter and leave as we wish and it'll keep the mobs out. Except for the skeletons, but, uh, except for the spiders, but then you could always do like um like a little three wide half slab thing at the top of the barrier area. So you can still walk underneath but spiders will get caught trying to climb up it. Hmm. Ideas, ideas. <laughs> yeah, I might end up trying that when we move the base up to the upper area there. But I'll have to get a fair bit more Vs before we can make a large amount of any of these stones yet, because we can only make five cast, five crafts for a full wand worth of Ignis and Auto. So it's pretty limited at the moment, but... Yeah, we'll have to see. Alright guys, that'll do for this one. I'll see you in the next one.